On today's episode of What Am I Taxidermying Today? It's a bobcat, so let me show you the process. This is what the mannequin looked like after I put all the pieces together and put it on the rock. This is what it looked like when I was test fitting the skin, and it fit great, but before it can actually be taxidermied, this bobcat skin needs a bath. There's a lot of tanning oil still left in this hair and skin after the tanning process, and the hair is just a little overall dirty, so this will be a good start. After the bath, I let this skin drip dry and I went back to the mannequin. I had to prep this mannequin a little bit, including adding some glass eyes. This bobcat head that I bought comes with a mask that already has some of the facial details in it. I would normally like doing my own clay work for all these details, but for this particular project, this was gonna be the most efficient way to do it, and I actually like how it turned out. So now that the bobcat hide and the mannequin are both ready, I'm gonna put glue all over the mannequin so that that hide sticks to the mannequin. And now it is time to put the skin on the mannequin. I start by putting the skin over the head, and then I start working the rest of the skin backwards. The body portion of this hide, I'm just going to drape over the back, and then I'll go to each leg individually and start wrapping the skin around the legs. And this cat is going to look pretty rough for a while, just warning you, it's not going to look right until kind of the very end. So bear with me. This is how it looks like right after the skin is kind of sort of on the mannequin. I went ahead and pinned the body skin to the mannequin so it would stay in place. But now I moved over onto the face and I'm going to tuck all these details in. This is still a rough draft, but I wanted to get everything kind of lined up. Because now I'm going to take this cat off the stand and I have to go stitch this cat up. So I'm going to sit down and many hours of sewing later, you get a cat that looks like this. But it's still not done yet. This cat is going in for its second bath, this time to get any glue and clay or any other debris out of the hair. I won't bore you with this part again. So back to the mounting stand and this cat is super soaked, super wet. So I'm going to spend a couple hours blow drying this cat. This this hair is fluffing up so nicely. It is such a transformation from where it first started. And here's what the bobcat looks like after today's work. But as always, I have to let the skin dry for a couple weeks before it's ready to be painted and finished.